all right, I'm going to I'm going to give you my thoughts on everything now. XLM, XRP, um, the lawsuit, the the possible appeal and everything else. Right. OK, right now, it's looks like the SEC is going to do an appeal. And like I said, you know, for me, I don't really care about that. And I'll explain to the reason why for me. One, America only makes about 1% ish of the actual holders of the coin. Ripple, you know, is basically a global yada yada. So at the end of the day, I'm not concerned about that. And even if little prices go down because of exchanges, I don't really care. A lot of this is because of the, oh my God, it's going to be in the lawsuit again. That's not going to stop. That's not going to stop OPEC. That's not going to stop Africa. That's not going to stop Russia, China. That's not going to stop the the, the 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 China's new version of the IMF. It's not going to stop Latin America from implementing it. So I I don't. It doesn't really do anything. Let the price drop. Whatever it makes it it makes it even more attractive. Look, if you have that fear, and you're like, my God, that's going to happen. Well, then the other one that's there is XLM. So XLM is the same thing, and that's the U.S. version of it. That's what they're going to be using, stuff like that. So if you're fearful, XLM is right there. It's cheap. It's going to have a run up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not afraid of the, the appeal process and stuff like that. I think. I think you know. Look, this coin they're going after it. This blockchain they're going after it for a reason. Whatever. I don't get involved. I, like I said, whatever the sec does, I don't. I don't get left and right and stuff like that. It just doesn't. In the end, the whole world is going to go past America, past the dollar, past our laws. Past, we're, we're a fucking joke in the world. I'm overseas, and I can tell you, America's a joke. You know what I saw today? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you something here. I'm going to show you how screwed up America is. This is a homeless American in America asking for change here in the Dominican Republic. You see that guy? Well, what the fuck is he doing here? This is what we're importing now. This is what this is how the world sees us. Let me tell you something. I love my country. I am How can I put it this way? I'm Puerto Rican, so I come from the nation of Puerto Rico. We are our own nation, we are our own people. We're colonized. That being said, colonized by the United States, but that being said, we are Americans as well. I got bloodline that goes back to the Second World War from my grandfather and now. So I, I, my family, my people have paid in blood in many battlefields and a lot of others. I mean, we, we, we've earned the right to it. We're proud to be also Americans. Where we're at right now, what this is, this is not America. And this isn't because of XRP. We're, we're, we're a laughing joke right now. And I can tell you so many different reasons why. Let them do the appeal. Let them do whatever they want to do. It, it doesn't, at this point, it doesn't matter. Right now, in Dubai, XRP and Bitcoin are considered cash. In Singapore, they're doing exchange directly XRP for gold. Hong Kong, they're putting XRP tied to real estate, like side contracts, like basically side chains. Like, it's not going to stop. It's not. But if you feel like, no, my God, it's going to go down 11 cents, whatever. Like, this is an AMC or GameStop. This is technology. This is something that's going to be used. Now, that being said, please understand going forward. We're in a situation now where you're holding XLM or XRP. They're all going to have their dates. Um, I think people should understand something like... In XRLM, XRP, it's basically where we're at now or rich. There's really like no in between. It's either this goes where it's at now or it's full scale, depending on your holdings. So like, you know, you got to make up your decision, how you feel and stuff like that. I am solid on what I did and I ain't touching it because I know clearly once all the African nations jump on, everybody has their CBDCs and once you have... Russia, China, the, I mean, the Middle East, I mean, all of Asia, I mean, Australia already did it. Next is going to be all the other countries, of everybody from, from New Zealand all the way up to the Philippines. You, you don't understand this technology has to happen. There's no way around it. 
the old system doesn't work anymore. Okay. They have to, they, it's just going to have to happen. Um, but like I said, you do what you need to do. Um, as far as the appeal, it, it, look, honestly, if it happens, it's another chance to make a lot of money. Think about it. I don't know. If it happens, price drops, all of a sudden, it's still not a security. Boom. 100% climb again. Come on. Am I the only one that thinks like this? Because that's easy money. So, Johnny Loves, look, I'll leave you with two seconds. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. X Force, motherfuckers. This is not the face of fear. No fucking way. Mm -hmm.